Hey guys, it's Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, and I thought I would try this uh, new um, thin lit set I got uh, from. I don't know where I got it from. It's this clearance. Okay, anyway, I just thought this was really cute, and I thought I'd like to try that. So let's try that. Kind of reminds me of a little doily, and it has this little stamp here that'll go in the middle of it. Okay, let's see what we can do. <laughs> so, first, I want to take my little die and put it on. I have this plate down here. And um, then I'm going to take one of these plates and put it down. I'm going to put my little thin lit on top of it with the cutting edge up, the flat surface down. And um, these are just some scraps, so I'm just going to take a scrap and uh, you could cut it, but I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm going to set it over the top. Then I'm going to put the top plate in. And then I'm just going to roll it through the machine. That's it. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Looks pretty already, huh? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? like a little doily but look it's so small would be neat to have a bigger one of these oh and that's the back side oh that's right I folded it in half duh <laughs> there are two pieces here but they're pretty much stuck together I've actually never had that happen before where they stuck together like that here they come apart. So yeah, the back is white, and that would e white would even make cute little doilies look. And this is the top. Anyway, so let's try it again. Anyway, this is with the barnyard chicken. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd like to hear you comment below about what you think about this machine and or these dies if you've used any um, of these machines or dies and which one you prefer I do have an AccuQuilt as well as this uh, Big Kick and um, I really like my AccuQuilt but it's a really big so anyway this is nice and convenient for thinlets um, my AccuQuilt uses the large wooden dies. And let's see, before I lose this, let's plop it back here again. Let's see, which paper do I want to use? I guess we'll use this one. This one's really pretty. I guess I'll go ahead and cut a few pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, I have cut out several little sheets of different scraps. And with the little thin lit dies, uh, you can do about two, two layers. So um, with the bigger wooden dies, you can do several layers, a lot more layers. I'm just going to set this down over the top of this like this. And then I'm going to put my top plate in. And then I'm just going to roll it through. Anyway, it's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> uh, 
I really wished you could cut more layers. Uh, the thinlets are really cool and all, but you have all this surface. I wish you could cut like six or eight of these. I mean, I wish this was several connected where I could get, you know, 12 out at a time. So anyway, yeah, th that's real pretty too. Oops. That's really pretty. And, um, however, with these little ones, oh yeah, this one came apart pretty good. I was going to say with these little ones, I might have to do them one at a time so they don't stick together. But aren't they adorable? Anyway. Here is, um, two here. I don't know if you can see those. Aren't those really cool? These here I cut out of this, um, parchment paper. Anyway, I got this parchment paper from the Dollar Tree. There is 30 square foot, 10 yards, times um, 12 inches, so 12 inches wide. Anyway, I just I took a piece like this, folded it in half, and ran it through. So, this is really cute. I really like these. Anyway, let's do a couple more. And then maybe we'll do something else. You might be bored with this one already. But I really like this. I think I'm going to make several of them. Hopefully, I can use them. I do see that um, the little papers are sticking around the edge. That could cause a problem later. After a few cuts, it might. Um, I need to figure out how to clean that. Anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can already see. So yeah, those are pretty cool. All right, let's try something else. Let's see. Um, let's try this one. This one is like an edge punch. Ugh. A border, whatever. So I'm just going to lay it down. It doesn't really matter which direction you lay it in. And then I'm going to put this over the top. I only have one of those. Let's find something else. I'm going to use two different colors this time. Lay it over the top. And I'll roll it through the machine. Hmm. Looks like this one's going to be a little harder to get out, but you see how cute it is. Super cute. some reason it doesn't have a hole that you can push through. Uh, I'm going to try this little pin. That worked pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cute. Super cute. Anyway, there are two of those. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this one. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Because um, I thought this one here would be really good for tight spots. And... Um, 
you know, you can put it at the corner of a page and just glue it down on two sides and then tuck something in there in your journal. So, um, I'm excited about making something with that sticky. These actually go through the machine really well. Some of the ones I've used in, uh, recently have been, I just went ahead and tried to get it as close to the edge as possible so I could make multiples and I wasn't wasting it. So, yeah, look at that. That's really pretty, isn't it? I think that'll make a really good tuck spot. And, um, uh, I did it in two different colors. I think they're both really cool and they both would be very good for a lady or a vintage style um, journal. I think the only one that I have left is this little tag one that I haven't used. And if you wanted to, you could stamp something. This is that little corner one that I did and this is this here is the uh long little piece that i did but uh looks like you might have, oh no this is this one this one's probably the same anyway oh here's another corner piece you could stamp those anyway let's go ahead and try this little tiny tag and you can technically put more than one of these down at a time and uh, so let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to put this one down. And then I'm going to um, do this one as well. Put my top piece on. Just roll her through. I could set this, sit here and do this all day. <laughs> it's really easy, and it it is really easy. But it you can see how long it takes. So, those are the two I made. Aren't those super cute? I don't know if it's focusing, but those are the two I made with this one. I think they're super cute. And the other one I made, I made this one again. But I was just showing that you could do more than one die on there at a time. And you can use all kind of papers and they're just super adorable. Okay guys, well I'm gonna continue doing this but I'm going to say goodbye. And I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please comment below. I'd like to um, hear what you're making. Or you can put me a link if you're making things like this as well. Okay, guys. Sending all my love and my hugs.